Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. One of the Mohammedan, he posted uh, in the comment, you can read it in the previous video, uh, saying that Paul is a liar. And he posted Roman 7, 3. You see, this is a great example why Islam cannot be from God. Because if Islam is from God, then the followers of Islam, they should be honest. If you are following the true God, then how can you explain to me that you yourself, you fabricate a lie, saying that Paul in the Bible was saying he's a liar, unless you are a liar following a prophet who is a liar too. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I am coming to you and say, okay, I follow Jesus the Christ, he is the most amazing person, and then I start fabricating lies uh, in order to prove a point, whatever that point is, which means the base of the point proof that not what I proved to you, that's the proof that you're fabricating, you're a fabricator. So you accuse somebody of lying by lying. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. You want to prove somebody is a liar. By what? By lying. How that can be godly. How this can be an action of somebody he believed in God, any God, doesn't matter what God you believe in. Unless your God is the devil. This is Roman in front of us, Roman 3, and we can go and read the verse which he quote for us. You will see nowhere our church father, Paul, saying he is a liar. They accuse him of lying. They are saying to him, you are a liar. And why is a liar? For he is a glorifying God. So if, if my lies is about a glory to God, then what is the benefit of my lies? If when I speak to you, I say that my God, he consider me a sinner. So what is my, what is, how I can be a liar? What the benefit of those lies? You see, when somebody lie, he lie to get a benefit. Right? So what Paul is saying to them, you accuse me of lying. Someone might argue. But obviously, those Muhammadan they don't read like they're a prophet. This is about what people argue with him and what people they say to him. So somewhat, someone might argue with me or with you and say to you, well, uh, you know, okay, you are a liar. Then I say to him, what is the benefit of my lies? That's what the verse is saying. When I am saying to you, if this is a lie, I'm saying to you, I am a sinner. Every human being is a sinner. So what the benefit of my lies? In the other hand, we see that Muhammad, he get a benefit. Like what is the what is the benefit Paul was collecting from what he teach and he preach? Women? No. Money? No. Paul, he used to make tent to make living. Did women, did he make a verse, says God told me any verse when I sleep with me as Muhammad did in the Quran in chapter of Razab? Did he make a verse so he can take his own son wife? Did he tell them you have to, you know, hey Christian, you have to give me the fifth of every booty? Did he say to the Christians, you, you know, if, if I see one of your women, you, she have to, to be given to me? That is the logic which Paul is saying. I have no benefit of what I'm saying to you except a glorifying God. So if my lie is about a glorifying God saying I am a sinner, what kind of lie this lie is? But because the Muhammadan, they are bankrupt. So they say, oh, look, uh, he said, by my lies, this is the whole story, my, by my lies. They did not see the, the rest of the context. This is what Islam is about. Islam is a religion as a cult fabricate things which is clearly it's not what it says i mean it's amazingly how those people they fabricate and the funny we are debating about if he is lying or not which means they are lying to prove that paul is a liar what a shameful behavior 
Same time, I say to all those Muhammadan, show me one statement Paul, he said, is shameful. Any Muslim can show me one statement he said is you Muslim don't agree with? As ethic as an example? Like what? In the same time, we have tons of Islamic books speaking agreed about Paul. But zero statement from Muhammad against Paul. Why, Muhammad never heard of Paul before? Who is a Muslim want to show me a hadith, a statement from Muhammad saying Paul was a bad person? Anyone? When we go to Ibn Kathir, when we go to a, a lucid in, a, interpretation, when we go to, to uh, the, the stories of the Prophet Ibn Kathir, we go to the book of at tahrir wa Tanwir by Ibn Ashur, to buy, by Ibn Ashur, the scholar of Islam. You know, all those, they speak highly about Paul. So why Paul is bad? Tafsir al-Bab, I mean, you name it, even Fath al-Bari. Fath al-Bari, imagine, this is the most, like, Muslims, they, 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 they go to Fath al-Bari to get the, inter, like, the interpretation for hadith, to understand the hadith. Even there, Paul mentioned as a messenger of Christ. So why Islamic scholars, they say something, but the small Muslims, the small ones, the tiny ones, who do not know what they are talking about, they speak against Paul simply. This is a new agenda started, you know, with Didat and this garbage. And Muslims, they copy paste. But nobody can tell us where and how they can support their statements. Even the Quran speak about messengers, and those are the messengers of the Messiah, three messengers. The third one, which Allah supposedly sent to support, it was Paul. It was who? Paul. Now we can show you from your own interpretation, not our interpretation, that yes, those are the messengers of the Messiah, and the most powerful one between them, the third, is Paul. And here we need to ask ourselves a question. I mean, what's wrong with this number three? Muslims, they fight number three. They hate number three. Their enemy is the Trinity. Hmm. Okay. Have, have patience with me, guys. Sorry for that. Yeah, you know, this uh, internet company, they are a bunch of liars. They say to me, the speed is very good and there's no problem. But uh, obviously, they share the same line with all, uh, you know, the people in this street. So when many users, like when you open the faucet for water, with many users, that slow the internet for everybody. But anyway, uh, three messengers sent to where? Muslims do not know. Who are they? Quran did not tell. When this happened, no statement. Which year, which century, nobody knows. In order to find out, we have to go to the scholars of Islam and they tell us it was Paul, it was John, it was Peter. Some they say it was Simon, which you know, like with Peter, some, uh, some uh, Simon Peter, and John, and some uh, and, and Paul. But all the interpretation they agree that Paul is a third. So why you Muslims you keep attacking Paul? Did Paul marry a six years old girl like your prophet? Did he go to his own son and he found the wife Zainab went to Jash, stripping, and he flirted with her? Did he say that gambling is good? Did he say fornication is good? Isn't it Paul is the one who says the drunken, the gambling, 
the, the liars, the thieves, the criminals, they will not go to heaven? What's wrong with Paul? And why Paul? What about John? Why, why you Muslims attack Paul? So just to show you the stupidity of this cult, let us say for some reason those people, they have obsession with Paul. So John was good for you? <laughs> it's amazing how this stupid cult function. I never saw stupid cult as this cult. I challenge any Muslim to say to me, our books doesn't say what you are saying. And I will give you endless reference. Actually, you see that the, the story about in Roman is here. The Bible verses in Roman 3 is in front of us. They accuse him of lying. You see, guys, does it say they accused him of lying? Does it say in front of you that they accused him? You see here it says they rejected them. The fact in Arabic doesn't say they rejected them. It says, فَكَذَّبُوهُمَا They accused him of lying. So Paul was saying to them, if my lies about glorifying God and saying to you that every human being is a sinner, including me, what, the, what kind of lying those lines are? What kind of a liar is the one who humiliate himself, saying, I am a sinner and you are a sinner and we need God to be saved? Hmm? In the same time, The Muslims, like uh, somebody saying, uh, 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 why it says reject them, but in fact it says it's lying. This translation, this stupid translation, you say I translate, change it. Change the translator, you will find the translation change. Because in Arabic it doesn't say they reject them, it says they accuse them of lying. You know? Here, look at this guy, he says they, bull, they pull, bullied them, they, they, they belied them. They belied them. So yes, they accuse him of lying. And now you are accusing Paul of lying. And this story is about Paul and the other messengers. And what they say to them? They say to them, you are nothing but a human like us. Huh? And God, he gave you nothing. You are only telling us lies. The answer said, our Lord knows that we have been sent as messengers to you. And our duty is just to tell you the message. Then they asked them to do miracles. <laughs> And then they did miracles. Actually, the Muslims believe that those three messengers of the Messiah, even they rose people from death. Even what? Even they rose people from death. So why Muslims? They say something, but yet their books say the opposite. For all those people who make argument against Paul, against Christianity, they are a bunch of kids in YouTube. They are kids. You know, when you are a kid, you say whatever you want. Who, I mean, who's going to go after you? You are just a kid. Say as you wish. Your God have body. Who said so? Yeah, it's a wrong timing to do broadcast now. Sorry for that. I should not do it in this time. It is night time, everybody watching the internet. All right, all right. Okay, guys. Okay, let us do this. I'm going to delete this video. I will take it off the shelf. And 
we will do video maybe tomorrow about the same topic I remember tomorrow we will be in the quality of life too so maybe I will go on uh, on, uh, on air for a little time uh, speaking about this topic and then we can, can go to the quality of life all right because as you see my internet is not really stable and uh, Jibril is not here to help me as you know because Jibril can fix anything for you Jibril is the one who brought a dish of shish kebab to the Prophet Muhammad because his private port was not functioning after he ate the brother Prophet Muhammad his private part became like a missile like dragon 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 I mean yet the funny they are accusing Paul of lying for what what just can can you tell me a lie he said something bad but Muhammad claiming that he was the most weak person between all mankind in boom boom and then his God, he invoked Allah, and then Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, and then he got the power of 40 men. That is not a lie. This is absolutely true. Once I was debating with the Shia, Shia Sheikh. The Shia Sheikh, he said to me that Fatima, she ate with the Prophet from that dish. <laughs> So I said to him, so do you think Fatima, she was, she got the power of 40 men and boom, boom, too? <laughs> the Sheikh, he died laughing, actually. He did not get upset from me. But he could not hold himself. He said, may Allah curse you. You made me laugh at, at Fatima. <laughs> he died laughing. I mean, even Fatima, she ate from the dish. I thought this dish, the, the, the Yaviagara, was sent only to Muhammad. Why Fatima, she is eating from there? <laughs> And what happened to Fatima after she ate from that dish? <laughs> she became so good in boom boom. <laughs> did she won? Did she win the the, the competition of uh, 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 of of porn? <laughs> so it's amazing how they you know they attack Paul, they make fun of Paul. But why? Simply because they are bankrupt. The Christianity, you know. And the funny, they, they claim that Paul is the one who created the Christianity the way we have. But you know what? The Bibles, we have the four Gospels. All of them, they are in total agreement with Paul. When we say the four Gospels, we have the Gospel according to Luke, John, etc. So, okay, forget about Paul. So what about John? What about Mark? What about Luke? So, you see, here the stupidity is amazing. In the same time, we go to the Quran. The Quran speaks good about those disciples of Jesus. And here, by the way, we need to ask a very simple question. If Jesus was just a man, how he send messengers who do miracles? Who is the one who sent those messengers? The Messiah. The Messiah. Okay, how the messenger can make you a messenger? If I am a messenger, I cannot make you a messenger. Right? Messenger. Uh, he doesn't have the authority to make someone else in his rank. You see, even in the army, in order to make, you know, in order to get a rank of a captain, you have to be hired by somebody that to give you the rank somebody higher than you not somebody lower than you or somebody in your rank captain cannot make you a captain the order have to be from above a higher rank so if paul was a messenger those are messengers how jesus make them messenger if he is just a messenger and how he gave them the power of healing and raising people from death Huh? Read the story. So, uh, they are desperate, they are bankrupt, they have nothing. And when you follow a fraud, your highway is a fraud. 
And by the way, here you see how the stupid book of the Quran function. I mean, look, we were talking about Paul and the disciple of Jesus, and then suddenly we are talking about the sun run into its uh, uh, course. And what is that? Muhammad claiming that the sun goes and prostrate under Allah's throne every day. Do you see it? Verse number 38. What does this have to do with Paul? How the, the one who wrote the book, the Quran, is a, is a person who is suffering from flight of thoughts. This is how I see the Quran. The Quran is like somebody, he wrote papers, small ones. And then he put all the papers in the front of the fan. And then the fan spread those papers all over. And then he started grabbing those papers and he lined them up, one in the top of the each other. And then they make it a book. So the verse before it have nothing to do with the verse after it. And that is the case for everything in the Quran. Right? Uh, Shield, he is saying, Paul, he corrupted Jesus' teaching. Uh, prove it. Shield. Prove why your prophet then, he is saying that Paul is a messenger of Allah. Why the Quran saying that Paul is a messenger of Allah? If I ask you, who are, the, who are the, those three messengers? They are mentioned in the Quran. What you will say to me? Can you give me an answer? Who are the, those three messengers who Allah has sent? So either you are a fool who copy paste attacking Paul, insulting the messenger of God, even in your stupid cult, or you have a proof of what you are saying. So do you have a proof? Or you are just a fraud. I'm waiting for your proof. Do you have a proof? Hello? Mr. Shield, do you have a proof? Copy paste kid? Call me Christian Prince, I will expose your lies. Okay, I will call you. What's your Skype? I will go in Skype right now, <clears throat> just for you. Even though I wasn't planning, you know. What is your, uh, what is your Skype? Give your Skype, Shield. And remember, I'm going there online just for you. And remember one thing, you have to give me reference, don't give me speeches. What is your Skype? <clears throat> I'm waiting for you. Shield, join the Baptist, this verse about join the Baptist. Guys, this verse is about join the Baptist. Okay, you know what? I will make you, I will make you the joke of everybody. If you cannot show me one Islamic reference saying that this is about join the Baptist, that's mean you are a donkey. Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? Call me right now, my Skype is on, and show me one Islamic reference saying, that this is about John the Baptist. Chapter 36, verse number 14. So either you are a liar speaking of something, it's not true, it's not exist in your religion, or you are a person telling the truth, and you have the truth, and you are going to share it with us. Is that fair, guys? That's what you said. Everybody will be laughing at you. I just made you famous. Muslims will be laughing at you. Where you got this, that this is about John the Baptist? Call me, call me, I am in Skype. You said to me, call me? Aren't you the one who said call me? Why you don't call? We need something for dinner.
Shield. Call me and show us that this is about John the Baptist or you have to admit that you are a fraud like your prophet. And guess what? I want you to show me. Tell me the verse, I will show you. This guy, we do not know what verse we are talking about. This potato, he do not know even what verse we are talking about. I mean, look, the verse is on the screen. He tell me, tell me what verse. <laughs> She'll get lost. Never come here again. Okay? Only adult. I thought you are a fart. It turned to be you are a diarrhea. <laughs> like your prophet. Show me the verse. So you were answering me about what? who is he without knowing even what verse we are talking about? And I got excited. Call me. Like, call me, guys. Call me. He said, call me. I mean, when you see those Abdul saying, call me, you think, okay, something will happen now. Like, this guy is a hero. Here we go. I am in Skype. Where are you? Call me, baby. We open Skype for him. And then nothing. I don't even see a text. Call me. Let me go out of Skype. I thought we have something. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, she's kebab hummus religion. It's John the Baptist. And uh, you know what? Even John the Baptist, you, 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 you crazy person. If we ask you who is John the Baptist, what you will say to me? I mean, you Muslim, you bring, bring us names. You don't even know what they mean. You don't know who they are. Okay, his name is John the Baptist. So why Muslim you do not do, do Baptist? His name is John the Baptist and he is a prophet. And you agree he is a prophet. And his name is what? John the Baptist. So why Muslim don't follow the steps of John the Baptist? Do you know guys what I'm saying? Why Islam is not following as long as you agree that John the Baptist was a prophet, a messenger, a great messenger. Okay, wonderful. His name is what? John the Baptist. So what he do? He baptized people. So why you Muslim don't baptize? Hmm? Because Muhammad is a fraud. So brother and sister, we we Muslim, we believe in John the Baptist. Uh, hold on, Zach and I. His name is what? John the Baptist. Okay. So his name is John. Is that his last name? Chris and Prince. You are ignorant. Baptist mean that he used to do baptism. Uh, okay, so his name is John, and because he do baptism, they call him John the Baptist. Exactly, and I get you with it, uh, but, but uh, Zakia. So how come John the Baptist he do baptism, and you Muslim don't follow a great prophet like John the Baptist? Do you think he was doing wrong by doing baptism? Great friend, this is a very good thing. Secondly, I'm going to answer you. Number three, you are stupid. I will answer you if you tell me your faith. Uh, Zakir, a second ago we were talking and there's no need for the faith now. I'm telling you, I am willing to answer you if you tell me your faith. Show me your faith, I will tell you the answer. But Zakir, no, come on. I mean, what does this have to do with my face now? What if my face is like, uh, you know, uh, not good looking, scary? Like, uh, don't you see, like, I'm still single. I'm not handsome like you, man. You know, uh, Brent, thank you for admitting that I am sexy and you knew it. Zachary, we know that you are sexy. So now let's go back to the topic. So why John the Baptist was doing baptism and you Muslims don't follow the steps of John the Baptist? I'm going to answer you. If you go with me and do boxing, I'm very good at boxing. If you want the math, I'm going to answer you. Come on, Zachary, like, honest to God, if I fart, you will fly. Like, don't go there. Uh, Christian Prince, are you like, are you serious? I'm very serious. Okay, forget about boxing. What about I trained you in drinking camel urine? Uh, Zachar, I don't drink camel urine. I'm not a fool. First of all, I'm a doctor. And I'm very good for I trained you. If you drink camel urine, I'm going to answer the question. What's wrong with you? I want an answer, man. Why John the Baptist is approved by you Muslims as a prophet, yet nobody of you do baptism? Zakir, are you there? Zakir? 
the Kur, the Kakiro, Zuzu Zuzu, Zakir, Crazy Breath. Sorry, I, I, I went to sleep because I was, I'm fighting Ramadan. Yeah, Ramadan was two months ago, man. What are you doing? Oh, because I missed a few days in the fatting of the Ramadan, so I'm fatting the day. Oh, yeah, right. And Muslims, if they miss a day in Ramadan, they can fast it in next year. I mean, don't you think this is stupid? Christian Brent did not do it. But Ramadan is gone. So what's the point of fasting a day today, which a day you missed in Ramadan? What what that will do? Christian Brent, I told you. Show me your faith, I will answer you. This is how they are, a bunch of kids. You speak about the East, the answer about the West. Oh, I forgot. We cannot say uh, uh, East and West in front of Muslims because Muslims believe that there is two East and two West. Have you ever heard of a God? He believe that there is two East and two West? Yeah, uh, there is two West and two uh, East. Uh, that's true, brother, because uh, Muhammad, he saw that the sun sit in different place in the winter and sit in different place in the summer. So obviously there is two west and two east. Hello. Rabbul Mashriqaini wa Rabbul Chapter 55, verse number 17. You know, he is the Lord of the two East. And look between the bracket, the Muslim trying to explain to you, the dummy Muhammad, what he mean. Places, sun rises during the early summer and early winter. But how this can be to East, you idiot. Well, uh, thank you for explanation. Hello. So if we have the sun, if the sun is one and the East is one, doesn't matter what, what to East and to West. Uh, Zakir, are you there? Why Allah he think that there's two east and two west? Truth and breath. First of all, you're ignorant. And it's a proven. There is a scientific, very well known scientist, he's from Japan. His name, Yama, I do lie, Yama. And he said, that is true. There is two east and two west. Uh, Zakir, why you squeeze yourself always when you talk? And why you are spitting, man? I mean, I wish I can have your mouth next to my garden. You know, at least I will get some water for my tomato. Peter Brent, first of all, we Muslims, we don't spit. Satan, he dumped inside our mouth and he pee. And this is the pee of Shaitan. Yet the Prophet said too. This is the pee of Shaitan, exactly. Then Muhammad is talking. He is the Lord of the two East and the two West. Mm -hmm. Scientifically accurate. No, the name of the the name of the scientist Yama I do lie Yama. Very well known Japanese. Come on, I can't tell from the name. His cousin is Yama Suzuki. I lie Yama too. I mean, they are very well known. They are a big family. You know, their mom is Hiroshima. I mean, well, come on. That's what the Muslim do in order to prove to you something fabricated. They mention to you all the names you never heard of or even you heard of. As an example, Bernard Cho. He said, who, who, Bernard Cho, you know, I, I like it when they say like Bernard Cho, you know, when I was in the Philippines, there was a guy collecting the, the money in the bus. I was getting to a city, going to a city, it's called Batangas. So the guy, he came to me and he said, uh, I gave him the money. He said, uh, sir, I have to pay you back 44 pesos. I said, what? How, how, how much? He said, 44 pesos. I said, okay, well, you know what? If you say it one more time, you can keep the money. <laughs> that will must die. So, so he said, 44. <laughs> and then after five minutes, he came back to me. He said, do you want me to say it more? I said, no, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> so this is Bernard Cho. Okay, what Bernard Cho said? Bernard Cho said, that the, if the Prophet Muhammad was exist today, he can solve all the problems in the world in 10 minutes while he's drinking his coffee. Bernard Cho said that, which book? Uh, uh, page number, uh, what, 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 where? We cannot find that. 
Bernard Shaw actually spoke against Islam. Go and read it. They're talking about Muhammad as a savage person. Where we can find the statement of Bernard Shaw that Muhammad, he can solve all the problems. Muhammad, when he have a fight with two short women, Hafsa and Aisha, he needed Allah and the angels and the Mujahideen and Al-Qaeda and ISIS and al zarqawi and Osama bin Laden and all the angels and Jibreel to help him against them. I can show you the verse from the Quran. So how he can solve all the problem? If a guy cannot even solve a problem inside his house. Fighting with two women. And here we go. This is the verse in front of you. Hmm? If you of two of the wives of the prophet, namely Aisha and Hafsa between two brackets, Turn into repentance. I mean, this is God talking now. This is my grandma when she became 120, telling my name that her neighbor who is 130. Do you remember when Hafsa and Aisha they have a fight with the prophet? <laughs> this is this is the talk for old people who had nothing to do. I and mean, what is this? With my respect to old people, by the way. What is this? And then turn in the repentance to Allah. It, it will be between two brackets. And look at this translation, guys. I mean, this translation is genius. Like between two brackets, if you, if will be better for you. Eww, how deep. Your heart are indeed inclined. They became kuffar. Why? They oppose the prophet. The wife of the prophet, they oppose the prophet. This is the laundry of the house of the prophet now everywhere. <laughs> Muhammad, man, your wives, they make a scandal about this. But if you help one another against him, man, this is here a big deal fight. Like, man, they make a party against the Prophet. <laughs> Strike. And Muhammad is AW. This is like a kind, at that time, by the way, for those who do not believe, you have to believe now. SAW discovered by Prophet Muhammad. This is about shortwave radio. How the Prophet can you the SAW? I mean, look at this. This prophet is amazing, man. Now we just find out about the SAW. But it was exist from the time of Muhammad. Mean. And then the brother, verily Allah and the Mullah, his, his Mullah, Mullah, Mullah. I mean, is that translation? His Lord or, or his God is a protector. And Jibreel, and not only Jibreel, and Allah brother will join the fight. Every righteous believer, and not only just but that's a believer. So now we have 1.5 billion. They are going to join Muhammad in the fight. Muslim, they count themselves 1.5. I, I believe that they are not even a billion. And furthermore, the angels. All of this to fight two women. They are five foot tall. Yet you lie to us saying that Bernard Shaw said if the prophet was exist today, he can solve the problem in, five, in 10 minutes drinking coffee. Where was where, where was the coffee of the, I you know what maybe at that time he could not solve this problem because there is no coffee. Remember Bernard Shaw, which is not he did not say that he put a condition brother while drinking his coffee. You missed that point. So because there is no coffee at that time, the prophet could not solve this problem. Unbelievable. Now we knew why. Now we know the weakness of the prophet. He was not able to solve it because there is no coffee. Give the prophet coffee and you will see how he work. He will become like whizz, 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 whizz. So you are following a book of jokes. And look at look at this God. This God saying, if maybe he divorce you, maybe, hasn't you God, you know the future? He would divorce them or what? So this this potato Muhammad, he could not control those women. So he what he do? His puppy Allah is ready. He make verse claiming that Allah told him to say that. And now those women, they will be scared. The Muslims will kill them. Allah is involved in the story now. So he used the name of God for his own business. Fighting with his wives.
Penny was the one as a something. If you are a Muslim, want to say something, say it to me. Penny is something. Hmm? And you know, guys, just to show you how stupid this book. Now, now he's talking about his wives, right? Then suddenly he start talking about those kuffar. What does have to do with okay? What does verse have to do with the wives fighting with Muhammad? What does verse have to do with the verse before it? What happened? From talking about Aisha and Hafsa, suddenly we are talking about doing jihad, about killing the disbelievers. What would this have to do with the? Don't you think that Muhammad inserted the story in the wrong chapter? Guys, I'm going to make a book. I'm going to make a book and the chapter, it's called How to Make Salad. I'm going to tell you about jihad, how to fight the infidels. The chapter titled, brother, is about salad, how to make salad. Hey, brother, come on. Those people don't read, they sing it only. They will not read it and they will not understand it anyway. They recite it. They don't under, They don't even speak the language. Hello? So we speak about the wife and the verse after it, we talk about them doing jihad. What does this have to do with this? This is remind me of Joe Biden, by the way. You know Joe Biden? Joe Biden, he going to speak like... Uh, you know, uh, when I was with uh, Obama, uh, you know, I, I, I told him uh, about the Russian that, you know, if the price of the tomato, uh, like, uh, uh, and the farmers, uh, what? What? Russian tomato farmers. This is Muhammad. There's a guy, his name, Nu'man Khan, you know, the guy who sent pictures of him without T-shirt. Eh, doing jihad in his own way <laughs> with the Muslim women so he sent pictures of his chest like you know to Muslim women but you know this is halal in Islam he can sleep with four at the same time what what and the Muslim they start saying like disgusting how he do that you know my friend Muhammad he used to do that with 13 women at the same time so why he is not he's bad for you I mean what the hypocrisy he is allowed to have four, five some in the same time five some four wives in the same house uh, anyway, uh, uh, any Muslim have a comment? Hello, 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 change the tactic, CP Abdul doesn't fall to the trap anymore no my friend the tactic is not is not going to work doesn't matter what happened because now your reputation is speeding you none of them want to debate me all of them they want to see me face to face <laughs> the only way they can escape me i challenge you i will i will fly to the end of the world if you are a man to challenge me face to face what hello face to face can we do it shoulder to shoulder what about Corona these days? <laughs> oh boy. All right. And you know what? And then you jump a little bit and then you see he start talking about the wife of Noah and the wife of Lut. What does this have to do with the story? <laughs> the verse before it is about doing jihad against the kuffar. The verse after it, it's about the wives of Noah. What does this have to do with this? And the funny in Arabic, it says, uh, when you betray the Quran, accusing the wives of Noah, and the wife of Lut, they, they are poor. <laughs> but isn't it you Muslims believe 
that Muhammad, he said the truth when he said, وَالطَّيِّبَاتُ الطيبين, the good women, they will marry good, women, uh, good men, and the good men, they will marry, and the bad men will marry bad women. So how this is happening now? Huh? Isn't it the طَيِّبُونَ والخبيثون والخبيثون. What is that? Hello? If you, in case you do not know what, what I'm, I'm talking about, let me show you the Quran. Hold on. According to Muhammad, if we go here, uh, what we can say. Chapter twenty four, verse number twenty six. Look as at this at this disaster. The women who they are impure are for men who they are impure, and men who they are impure for men who they are impure, and women of a purity are for men of a purity. <laughs> so how are you accusing the wives of the prophets that they are a bunch of whores? If only if the man who they are pure. They will always, Allah will send them women who they are pure like them. Who is a stupid here? Do, do, do you understand, guys, what I'm saying? Yeah, in Arabic it says, Al-Khabithatu Lil-Khabithin, Wal-Khabithun Al-Khabithat. I mean, and the, and the funny is repeating the same thing. Al-Khabithatu Lil-Khabithin, Wal-Khabithun Lil-Khabithat. I mean, he just said the same, repeat twice. وَالطَّيِّبَاتُ لِلطَّيِّبِينَ وَالطَّيِّبُونَ لِلطَّيِّبَاتُ وَأُولَئِكَ مُرَّعُونَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ لَهُمْ مَغْفَرَةٌ وَرِزْقٌ عَقِيمٌ but you, but you just say that the wives of the Prophet Lut and Noah, they betray their husbands. So how the pure man, Allah will send in a pure woman, and then you accusing the wives of a pure man to be whore. That is a contradiction. Hmm? And you know, if this is the case, nobody will get divorced, by the way. <laughs> if good women always marry good men, and good men marry, marry always good women, then there's nobody is bad in this earth. You know what I mean? For only bad men, they marry bad women. But there's many good men their wife betrayed them, and vice versa. Many, many good women, their husband betrayed them and cheat on them. Right? So, how this is, will work? This is a stupid statement. Right? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? Admin tell Christian Prince to zoom out. Oh, okay, let me zoom out for you. Yeah, you see, I'm using a program, and this program is creeping the, the, the picture. What I can do, my friend. Take it easy. However, always, I always mention the chapter name, the verse numbers. You can open them from your side. This is a chapter 24, verse number 26. Are we good to go? Yeah. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, we will be in the quality of life account in the morning. So if you like to join us for the free and this account there, we talk about everything except the garbage of Muhammad. So if you like to join us, let me post the link. Okay. Here we go. It's going to be, uh, I don't know what time is going to be in your time, but it's going to be 10 a.m. or I don't know, depending on your time for sure, like where, where, where it is. 10 or 11, depending on where you are in the state, or maybe uh, uh, earlier, maybe later, maybe at night, depending, you know, we are not Muslims, we don't believe that the earth is flat. So, uh, tomorrow, and this is the link, let me post the link for you. So, whoever want to join us, feel free, and the admin is posting it. Thank you. 
this is the link if you like us to join us invite your friends and we will open the uh, skype tomorrow so we can take calls from christians they are more than welcome and my friends there is something always we need to remember when somebody attack christianity and then he proved nothing wrong about christ teaching obviously he is following the devil christ all the book all the four gospels is speaking about the highest ethic you can imagine ethic even it's kind some sometimes it's like very hard to practice if not impossible for christ he wants us to be good at, be good like your father he told us it's a project it's a mission he wants us to be the highest he wants us to be the best the best in what not in killing and raving the best in being good be good like your father how you can be good he says i was hungry and you feeded me i was thirsty and you gave me drink i was prisoner and you came to me i was i was i was then the, the, the disciple they said to him lord when we did those things to you when you were hungry and we feeded you and where you were prisoner and we visit you and where you he says when you do it to my brothers do, you do it to me so the ethic of a christ is way higher than any other teaching so there's many people they claim to be teachers there is Buddha, there is whatever, you know, there's many religions. But you will notice right away that Christ was the extreme in holiness. Love your enemy. Pray for those who curse you. Statement nobody dare even to say today. People will laugh at you if you say that. Why? Because this is extremely good. To the point I can't believe it. You will say to yourself, I mean, how you say to me, love your enemy? How even you dare to say that? For God is good. He wants us to be the best. How about Muslims? A response website. Are you promoting for Muslims websites now? <laughs> Richard? <laughs> You're very smart. How, okay. Uh, uh, claim that Paul is a liar. And quote, we just answered, we just answered this. It doesn't matter what they say. Go and read. You see, when the Muslim, they say something. Huh? They say to you, okay, uh, Paul, he lie in First Corinthians. Go read it and you will see this is not true. But I mean, what about they say? Let us go there and you will see it doesn't say that. We laugh. They can say whatever they want. At the same time, they don't explain to us, by the way, who is the one who gave them that conclusion? Where this conclusion is coming from? Is that the Christian something believe in? Is that the church father they believe in? Or this is only their understanding and their fabrication? <clears throat> if this is the, only their own understanding, look like the Muslim, they understand the book when, when we don't understand it. You know what I mean? The Muslims, obviously, they are the best to understand our book, but yet they cannot explain a verse in the Quran. So, when a Muslim he says to you something, as you mentioned, First Corinthians, chapter nine, and then you go to chapter to to verse number nineteen and twenty-two, where it says that he's a liar. Anyone can show me? You know what? I'm blind, maybe. Where, where Paul, he said, I am liar. No, no, you need to show me. I mean, when they say that to you, where it says here that he's a liar. He's saying to them, what is my reward? When I preach the gospel, what he preach? The gambler, the liars, the liars. The gamblers, the fornicator, the drunken, they will not go to heaven. What is what is my reward?
I preach the gospel of Christ with no charge. Where is my reward? What he is getting from that? So where he said he's a liar. For though I be free from all men, yet have I have made myself servant into all. How that can how even this verse can be about him being a liar? How even they come to such a conclusion? I mean, even the blind can see that it's not true. They argue that this is so not as Paul clearly was a Jew. He acted like a Jew and lured them. And uh, to the pagan non-Jews, he acted like one of them to simply lure. Where, where, where it says that? Where, how, how that come to the conclusion? How Paul, he act like a Jew. You know, when you first of all, if I speak now to the Christians, I talk what the Christians understand. Does that mean I am lying? When I speak to Muslims, I speak with Muslims about what they understand. So I quote for them their book to get them busted. So this is a stupid thing. And no, you know, you know, he is saying it clearly, I have no reward of my own. And when he speaks to the Jews, actually, uh, Paul, he was very strict. He is very strict because he simply is a, he's in his background, he's a Jew. So he was strict in himself. He was strict in the ch Christian. He was strict in the church. He was strict in everything. So when they say that he, when he speaks to the Jews, he is different from when he speaks to the, to the uh, disbelievers. Well, you have to prove it. Did he change the book? Did he change the ethic? How he can be? You know, Richard, like if I go to the Jews and I say to them, only Jews will go to heaven. And then I go to the, 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 uh, the one day on the Jews, you can go to heaven too. That is mean that Paul is a liar, but he, he did not change anything. He speak to the Jews the same as he speak to others. So we are how, how he can be. A person who's lying and into the Jews I became as a Jew for he speak the law for them for this is what they understand that I might gain the Jews but he's not he's a Jew he's already a Jew <laughs> okay so that under the law because this is what they follow if he is not a Jew they will not listen to him as under the law, that might gain that they are under the law. Do you see it? And then to them, that without law, as without law. Because if I if you if you quote for them the law, they will they will say, What this guy is talking about? What what do you mean the command, the Ten Commandments? What does that mean? It shouldn't first you introduce the Ten Commandments before you talk about the Ten Commandments? So when I speak to a Jew, he already knew and learned about God. So I speak to him as a person who knew. If I speak to someone else, I speak from zero, for he have no knowledge. Do you understand what I'm saying? In the, in the top of that, how come you are saying the Muslims I'm not blaming you, by the way, but if we ask a Muslim what a verse in the Quran says, don't they say go and read the interpretation of our scholars? Okay, do our scholars give interpretation as they claim that Paul was playing games and his liar, or they explain it differently? So how come when we read for them a verse from the Quran, they say to you, oh no 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 no, you don't understand Arabic, you have to go and read the interpretation of the scholars. How come they didn't do that with our book? Here we go. We can go right now and search in Google interpretation for this chapter, and we can read it all. And you will see none of there, not a, not a single Christian, say what they claim. While in the opposite direction, if we go and read the interpretation of Muslim scars about the Quran, the Muslim themselves will deny it, for it's stupid. For the Quran is stupid. You know, 
uh, uh, I will go with this accusation that Paul with the Jew, he's a Jew, with non-Jews he speak as not, not a Jew. Well, isn't this what Muhammad he did? Let me show you. But Muhammad, he did not do as Paul. He was truly a liar. So look what happened. Muhammad in the beginning, he told the Jews he will go to heaven. Not only that, the Christian will go to heaven. Not only that, those who worship stars, they will go to heaven. Do you see it? Paul never promised any to go to heaven unless he believe in Jesus. Is that correct, guys? Paul, it doesn't matter he speak to who. He speak to the Jews as a Jew, or he speak to the non-Jews non non as, as one of them. Both, he say to them the same. Unless you believe in the Messiah, you will not be saved. Here, Muhammad, he speak to the, uh, to the Jews. He said to them, those who they believe on Allah, and those who believe from the Jews, in what? In the Jewish scriptures. And those who believe from the Christian, in what? In the gospel. And those who, they are Sabi and Sabi and they worship the stars. They don't even, they don't even believe in the same God. Not only that, the Sabian, they claim that Yahweh is the devil. If you go to the book of the Sabian, which is called Kenza Rabbah, in the book of Kenza Rabbah, the Sabian, they speak about the Jews, the Sabian, they hate the Jews to death. Anyone know, know why? Anyone knows why the Sabian, they hate the Jews? Who, who remember from before, from my previous teaching? Why the Sabi and they hate the Jews? How those all, they have one God then? I mean, okay, the Sabi and they will go to heaven for what? To worship in stars? So if Paul speaking to the Jew as a Jew and then speaking to non-Jews as not a Jew will make him a liar to gain but he never changed the ethic, he never changed the teaching. He said to both, unless you believe in the Messiah, you have no salvation. Here, we see Muhammad speaking to the Christians, he said to them, you go to heaven. Speaking to the Jews, he said, come on, you go to heaven too. Speaking to the Sabian who don't even believe in the same God, you go to heaven. Because of the Pharaoh, is a Sabian. So the Sabian, they hate the Jews, because the Sabian, they believe that Pharaoh was a Sabian. The Egyptian, they used to be Sabian. And the God of Moses, he used magic. They believe in what happened, the story of Moses. They agree that this, the God of Moses, Hashem, as they call him in their book, he is the devil. He killed the Sabian. He destroyed the army of Pharaoh. And they made fun of the Jews because they say their God, who is the devil, he ordered them to cut their flesh, which is circumcision. So how the Sabian who hate those who believe in circumcision, who hate those who believe in the God of Moses, who hate Moses, they will go to heaven. Actually, Maybe we should make another episode about this to show you the influence of the Sabian on Islam. <clears throat> Let me open the book of Kenza Rabba. Wait, hold on. I think I have it in my, my uh, computer library. Let me see. Okay, here we go. I have it. Let us open it. I hope it's going to open. Mm -hmm. yeah, here we go. It's open. Wonderful. This is the book of Kenzarabba. Let me put it for you on the screen. This is the book of the Sabian. 
and those who speak Arabic, you will notice right away as if you are reading the Quran. Kanza Rabba is a book have two part. The part it's called the right, and the other part it's called the left. Right part and left part. This is Kanza Rabba, the right part. They call it Kanza Rabba. Rabba mean coming from the word Rabbi, Rabbi, which means Lord, the treasure of the Lord. Kanz is a treasure. الكنز العظيم الكتاب المقدس للصابع المندنيين اليمين Let's go second page Here we go to the كنز ربا left Two books in one book Left and right So I will go now here You, anyone who speak Arabic, he will notice right away that as if I am reading Quran. Let us go. This is just introduction here. Translation. Introduction. Here we go. Anyone who knows Arabic, he will know that this is Quran. The same way, the same writing, the same uh, sound, the same uh, 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 repeat, you know, it's like somebody trying to make a rap music. Huwa al al azim al basir al qadir al alim al aziz al hakim al azali al qadim. Guys, who speak Arabic here? How many people do speak Arabic here? Is it this is Quran? Listen, listen. هو الحي العظيم البصير القديم العليم العزيز الحكيم هو الأزلي القديم <laughs> it's, it's like a perfect writing of the Quran so Muhammad the thief he stole from the Sabians tons of things anyone who read Arabic he will see right away that Muhammad the thief he is stealing from the books of the Sabian And he is using even exact same words in the Quran. Al-Jalal wal-Itqan, huwa al-Adl wal-Aman, huwa al-Rafa wal-Hanan. Sajidin al-Khashi'in, Shakirin al-Musajin, huwa al-Ladi la ahadan lahu wa la wakil. I mean, this is Quran. Unbelievable. The thief. Actually, I wrote. I wrote already. I'm, you know, as you know, I'm working in many books. Already, I wrote a big portion of a book about this uh, issue, about the roots of Islam, uh, how Muhammad he sold too many things from books like Kanzarabba. But this is like this is, will be a big topic, and the, the the sad part of the story, you need to learn the, to know the language. You know, in order to notice really what I'm talking about. Right now, you are just hearing the sound. But if you speak Arabic, anyone who speak Arabic, and I'm sure in the chat there we have many, right away they will notice that this is this is Quran. And actually, even Muhammad was called the Sabian, and we showed you that in the Hadith many times. But the question is, how the Sabian they will go to heaven if they don't worship the God of the Christian and the God of the Jews? How three religion, or let us say, three different belief, Islam, and Sabian, and the Christian and the Jews, they worship the same God. How those three, they will go to the same heaven, if each one of them, he believe in different God. You know what I mean? How many of you here, especially those who speak Arabic, heard about Kenza Rabba first time? Who here first her first time here about this book? Kanzarabba.
Uh, tell me who is Benny Hashem. They are a bunch of a fraud. Go and get my book, Sex and Allah, and you will see all of them, they were homosexual. All the family of Benny Hashem, and this was written in the Islamic books. Go and get Sex and, sex and Allah. You know, the Muslim, they say Muhammad was coming from the highest family, noble family. All of them, they used to sleep with men together. With no exception. Anyone who have my books, Sex and Allah, you will see that with, with reference and evidence. Anyway, this is a different topic. I mean, even the, the book of Kanza Rabba, this is a this is a huge topic to discuss uh, because you have to go, you know, we can go over them like even page by page and you will see how much Muhammad is copying you know, from from uh, from the Savian. Who a Meliko and Nuru Sami, who Allah, Minhu can and Malaika were a three yun, Rudia he were Nuri here for loon, etc. I mean, it's a it's the same uh, 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 like uh, tone as the Quran, and in the same time the same even words and Muhammad obviously uh, he is copying from from them Akhaydar who is Akhaydar we don't know who is Haydar anyway like here uh, Allah, He made the earth flat. Allah, He gave the the the, the sun diya wal qamaru baha. This is the same in the Quran. If you go in the Quran right now, read it, chapter ten, verse number five. It is Him who made the. Uh, the sun, Bliya. Let me show you in Arabic first. It's exactly as in the Quran. Okay? You go to Kanzarabba, it's saying the same. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he knew what it says. Habi Shams Diya, Wal Qamara Baha, Wan Najuma Sana, Wal Ma'u Uduba, Wan etc. So you know the same. Go to a different verse. I mean, it's all over. All right. I don't know the person, but good. Next time, please explain about Hafs Quran. No, my friend, always next time we have something to talk about. So leave next time to next time, you know? Uh, I just say when we go live on air, I mean, whatever people ask me, we jump from topic to topic. Sometimes we are like Muhammad, you know, he, he's suffering from flight of thought. So like you go to a Christian Prince uh, 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 program, and then you find Christian Prince, now he's talking about the sun, uh, uh, how the sun shines in the Quran, in the book of Kenzara. But the, the second after, we are talking about Aisha. <laughs> Why? Because this is what happens when you are trying to answer people in the chat. For everybody have his own interest. And you, you try your best to answer everybody, which is almost mission impossible, right? So sometimes we act like Muhammad, like a monkey. One, one second Muhammad talking about making hummus, the second after he's talking about the fire in hell. Who is the guy with that Jahannam? Even, even what Muhammad, when he used the word Jahannam, is a theft. He stole that from the, from the from the Christians. <laughs> Jahannam is mentioned in the in the Bible. The valley of fire, Jahannam. But you know this valley, Jahannam, is you know like a, look look at this idiot Muhammad. Look how many times seventy seven time the Quran used the word Jahannam. 
Okay, Muslims, the word Jahannam is which, which language? Which language? Any Muslim can tell me? Any Muhammad can tell me. Where is the word Jahannam coming from? 77 times mentioned in the Quran, and you Muslim, you do not know where is the word Jahannam mean, coming from. I'm showing the word Jahannam. Jahannam, you know, the thief Muhammad. I mean, I mean Muhammad is a thief. He always get himself busted. When when the Roman they uh, crucify somebody, there is a let's say a dumpster, a place where always they they have garbage. People they die, they throw them there. Garbage they throw there. This is why the fire is always there. There's a fire, never stop. So how the garbage became the hellfire for Muhammad? Any Muslim? Any Muslim want to say something? <clears throat> How Muhammad he copied it and he put it there. Where is the word Jahannam coming from, Muslims? Who want to help me? Is that an Arabic word? If this is the name of hell, fire, why Allah using the word is not in Arabic? Why it's called in such a word? Any Abdul? <clears throat> We have a Muslim here in the chat. Yeah, you know, the, the Muslim, you show him stupidity in the Quran, he says to you, Alhamdulillahi ala na'matil Islam. You will tahmid chinu. Galu lum, khsartu al-Qudus. Gal nahmadullah, qad khsarna al-Qudus. Oh boy. Any Muhammadan have something to say? I have eight person who don't like that's making me upset actually we, we don't have too many because this is not the time usually I go live on air so people did not get uh, to be informed and always YouTube actually fight me I don't give notification to people who they are in my page but usually we get a lot more than this hey Sam Shaman how are you my friend good to have you you're welcome my brother what are you to do here? And Muhammad, what do you mean what are you trying to do here? I, I'm trying to say to you, Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad is a fraud. Do you want to help me to prove me wrong? Mr. Muhammad? Muhammad obviously is a fraud. You see, when you say that this book, the Quran, is a pure Arabic, and then we find the word Jahannam all over, and we ask you, okay, where is the word Jahannam coming from? When the first time this word is heard, how it ends in the book of Muhammad?
Any Muslim can tell us how the word Jahannam end in the book of Muhammad. What happened? Is that a mistake? <clears throat> and you know what if you want we can change the topic do you like to give me something to prove Islam to be from God What do you think? Anyone? Good morning, Anna. How are you? You know, guys, I cannot stay here because support the Jibreel is going to go and enter my house. However, I have to check to be sure that there's no puppies in my house or around the house because the angels of Allah they have a phobia from dogs and not only that they might go nut and go crazy and don't deliver the delivery so I need to check and be sure that there's no dogs inside the house or around the house the word candy come from Arabic it doesn't mean it's it is Arabic what does have to do with this my friend are you listening the Quran says this book is a pure Arabic. And then we check, we find that all the Quran have no Arabic in it. What is the Arabic in the Arabic? How your God, he say this book is a pure Arabic. And then we find tons of words, endless numbers. They have nothing to do with Arabic. Huh? Did your God, he says the, the Quran is a pure Arabic? All of this verses about, and not only that, Muhammad he claimed that this is a pure Arabic. This verse, chapter 16, verse 130, 113, they accuse him that he is learning from two slaves who they are from Assyria. Assyrian. And they told him, Oh, we knew where you are getting those stories from from those Assyrian. So he said to them, oh, okay, hold on. Those who I speak to, they don't speak good Arabic. They speak Arabic, but the Arabic is not that good. So the one I'm telling you, the Quran is a pure Arabic. Do you see it? Not only it's an Arabic, it's a pure Arabic. So how it's a pure Arabic, and then all those stories contain words have nothing to do with Arabic. Exactly, Joseph, thank you. The value of Hanum. So how Muhammad, he come and he inserted the value of Hanum in his Quran. Any Muslim can tell me? Anyone? How this is how this is happen? All those verses saying Jahannam, Jahannam, Jahannam. Okay, where do you get this word from? Can you give us introduction? What do you have? Where do you get it? No answer. This is a valley in the borders of, of the old Jerusalem, the old city. How how this is end in the Quran? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan have an answer? Or as usual, Allah knows best. Hmm?
I don't know what's best. Let us do it this way. I mean, this is more comfortable. Why do you want to give yourself a headache? <laughs> uh, Allah knows best. All right. CP is not answering. What you said, Muhammad? What you said? I did not see what you said. It's pure Arabic because it turned into Arabic. How? How? Well, guys, how it is a pure Arabic by it turning into Arabic? You did not turn it. Okay, let me ask you, guys. It's a pure Arabic, correct? Like what the word Abraham mean? What the word Abraham mean? Guys, look at this logic. It's a pure Arabic because it turned into Arabic. How it turned into Arabic, but you are using non-Arabic words. So if I say computer and I put it in the Quran, that will make the Quran pure Arabic? If I say hello and put it in the Quran, that will make the Quran pure Arabic? If I say okay and put it in the Quran, that will make the Quran pure Arabic? This is your logic? Huh? What Israel mean? What Jibreel mean? Jibreel, okay, forget about that. What Jibreel? You must keep Jibreel. Keep saying Jibreel, Mikael, Azrael. Okay, what, what does that mean? You don't know. Because this is not Arabic. Those are names you stole them from other beliefs, other books, other languages. You have no idea what they mean. When you say Ishmael, what Ishmael mean? You don't know. You don't know. Do you know why you don't know? Because Muhammad is a thief. He, Muhammad himself do not know. If we, if we go right now in the Quran, just to show you the, 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 the joke about this book. The word candy, he stuck with the word candy. My friend, the only candy I know is the camel urine, which your prophet, he used to, uh, 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 you know, advise you to drink it. Candy comes from Arabic. Who is the one who told you candy come from Arabic? Arabic is not even a language. This is coming from the Aramaic. You see, this is this is the funny thing. Everything is coming from Aramaic. They switch it and they claim the Arab behind it. As an example, Allah is not Arabic. It's Aramaic. al la Al is a word meaning God. La is the name of the God. And it's Aramaic. Yasin. Chapter of Yasin in the Quran. Ya yeah, is a word mean God. Sin is the name of the God, the moon God. Ar Rahman, Ar Haimu. You know, go to Sam Shamun, he speaks Aramaic. He will tell you how Ar Haimu. This is Aramaic. This is a pure Aramaic. All the names of your God are Aramaic. You have zero. Arabic sugar, sugar. <laughs> as long as you are talking about sugar, you remind me of God. His name is Allah. He teaches his followers that the bees, they make honey and this is their poo-poo. The Quran says in chapter 16, verse number 69, that Allah inspired the bees to eat the fruit and poopoo honey. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this, this is wisdom, my friend. This is wisdom. This is the most wisdom ever. Mr. Sugar? And what does this have to do with our topic? The word sugar is coming from Arabic. So, let us say, there's, there's millions of words you use in Arabic today. They are not Arabic. And we are just showing you that. But we are talking about a book claiming to be pure Arabic, but it's not. I mean, do you see how silly they are? Look what we are talking about. Look what they are talking about. Have you ever heard of a God? He believed that bees, they eat the fruits. And then they do poo Honey. And look at this translation. Then eat of all produce on the earth where it says thamarat the fruits look at the translation change the translator you see this is yusuf ali again yusuf ali is the idiot
it says a fruit eat from all the fruits here we go just to change the same both are muslims then eat of all the fruits so what what the what the bees eat eat fruit actually i saw some but the other day one bees was eating uh, uh, you know uh, watermelon brother and she was eating uh, apple hmm? so they eat fruits and then they follow ways and then from their bellies a drink come for man so muhammad saying that bees they eat a fruit they shed honey read it but all of us we knew that's not true you are calling me kalb muhammad is getting angry now bees eat a fruit i didn't know that as I know, according to science, bees, they go and suck nectars, and the one who sucked the nectar don't even eat it. She deliver it to other worker in the hives, and then that, that worker, she uh, uh, vibrate that, that nectar and uh, will convert it into uh, honey. They don't eat it. They eat the honey, idiot. Go study science, brother. Secondly, you are calling me kelp, which means dog. Okay, let me ask you. Is it true that the last name of your prophet is Kirab, which means dogs? So why are you are calling me dog? How come a dog is an insult, yet your prophet's last name is dogs? Do you have an explanation for this? Muhammad ibn Kilab. Go right now, go to Google. Search the, the names of Muhammad. You will find your int with the word Kilab, the last name of Muhammad. What what Kilab means? Dogs. Anyone who speaks Arabic in you, you just call me one, you just call me dog. You're a prophet, his last name is dog. He married from Zainab into Jahsh. What does that mean? Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. Look like we have a zoo. So now what you want to call me? You call me donkey. Your prophet married from a do the daughter of the donkey. You call me Kelb. Your prophet's last name is donkey. Your Kelb. Okay, prove it. Okay, you want to call me? Muhammad K, do you want to call me in front of everybody? I will show you that anything I say. Is that fair, guys? What about you call me right now? And I will show you. Let me close some stuff here. Too many things open in my screen. Because I was showing you Kanza Rabba and Kanza, and Kanza Babba and Babarino, Rino and uh, Salami, you know. Do you like to call me in front of everybody? The one who don't prove what he say is a liar. Fair? What do you think, Muhammad? Challenge. If I cannot show it and prove it, I will apologize from you. Not only that, my friend. If you divorce your wife, I will marry her for you. If you divorce her three times, for sure. I will marry her for one night so she can go back to you as the Quran said. See, we do customer service too. I did not tell you that. Call us at our phone number. Tajheesh.com Have you ever heard of a religion that says that if a Muslim divorces his wife three times, she has to go sleep with someone else so she can get back to him? Eh, well, I open an office to do the service. Call me. If you divorce your wife three times, call me. Call me baby. Bees eat a fruit. Oh, you did search Google. Okay. Well, guys, he just searched Google. He said that he searched Google and, uh, okay. But what you what you did the search in Google? Can you tell me the search uh, you, the word you say? Can you tell me what you searched? Hmm. I did search Google too. <laughs> Read it. Hmm. Do you see it? didn't eat fruits bees don't even have teeth to bite the apples they suck liquid and then they give it back and this is like you know we can go to any uh, this is uh, university website Arizona you can go to any you know you will see the answer so you, when you say you did search Google you did not hmm?
Anyway. Thai bees eat a fruit. Okay, guys. Uh, I will. I will type bees eat a fruit. Okay, but those are not honey bees, my friend. The Quran is speaking about honey bees. Because not all. There is many. They are called bees, but they don't make honey. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh, I drip fruit very much. I can fast plant reach. Okay, let's open some uh, website and read together. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Uh, this is just an article. I want. I want uh, a scientific thing. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Let us see. We want something scientific, not. Uh, I have already many answers, but I want to open something very scientific. Uh, the, the bees. Whether bees eat fruit or not, this is not a topic. Bees, the bee keeping scientific. Some complain that bees. Okay, and don't. Okay, do bees eat a fruit according to the Holy Quran? <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, let's see this one. Uh, this is pin. No, this is not an article. This is pin. This is a website for pictures. I mean, it's isn't it amazing? Until now, we could not find one. Um, scientific website. Let us search again. Maybe because I copy your text between two bracket. Let us take it to bracket. Okay. Okay. Even I cannot find the the university website which I just found before. Let me search again. Okay, let's see. What do honey bees eat? Let us see. I don't see until now the answer. But look like this is. Um, the worker hold the nectar in their tongue until the liquid evaporate creating the honey do you see it the honey is then stored in cell within the hive this is what the bees eat honey bees collect pollen and nectar from variety of flowering plants including milkweed etc and then uh, those uh, fruit from a fruit trees uh, you know they have a flowers etc and then they collect that nectar and that nectar will be delivered to the worker and is going to convert that liquid into honey this is what the bees eat 
and we are talking about the honeybees because there's many bees they are they you know they, they are from the same family but they are not honeybees because not all bees make honey <clears throat> right so we can say that bees eat fruits generally but not literally because at the end of the day they are getting their food from those fruits they can suck the liquid from the fruit let us say there's a rip fruit open the bees will suck the liquid and take it and then will convert that liquid they will not eat it right away they just store it in their tongue they have a tube that tube will you know my friend okay hold on let us search for this how honey is made then you will understand what 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 bees do right how honey is made simply if they are eating okay i will go with you according to you they eat fruits right okay so the where is the honey coming from i will go with you muhammad you are trying to convince me that literally the bees they eat fruits hold on okay the honey is coming from where the quran explained he said they eat honey they eat fruit and then the the, the and, and then after they eat this fruit the honey coming from their from their belly i mean do you see how stupid what you are what we're talking about i'm going with you the quran saying you see you are the one trying to convince me that the bees eat the fruits okay okay wonderful let us say for the sake of argument the bees eat the fruits the quran says that they eat the fruit and they do poo poo the honey is that true is that true that they eat they eat fruit and then honey come from their belly is that true which means it go inside them as food they consume it and then they extract as honey that's what the quran is saying so actually in fact you are supporting with my statement that the quran is a stupid book so the Quran is not saying they suck the nectar and then they take it and they do business with it. No, he's saying they eat it and then it come back or it come out from their stomach, from their belly as honey. So what do you say now? What do you mean what? It's in front of you. What they eat, my friend, they eat fruits, correct? Okay. They eat a fruit, so what, what get inside them a fruit? What they did with it? They eat it. You know what eat it mean? It means this fruit will go inside your stomach, and your stomach will destroy the food, and then it will observe it, and then it will send the, uh, the benefit of it, whatever it is, to give you energy, etc., to your body. And then whatever is left, which is not useful, is the honey according to Quran so don't tell me now you don't understand what I'm saying <laughs> this is not getting complicated but complicated it's very simple they eat they eat fruit they poo poo honey what is complicated I mean you guys are funny this is complicated now the Quran is saying they eat a fruit if I, if I say to you you eat a bread then you do poo poo so what happened? The bread you ate became later poo poo, the leftover. Thank you very much. So the Quran is saying the same. They go and eat fruits. The fruit can turn into honey. Yeah, jahil. Okay, hold on. But they are they eat it. They turn it into honey after they ate it. <laughs> the nectar you know what ape mean so what happened they ate and then they did poo poo so you are saying to me the food they eat it come out as honey as poo poo <laughs> yeah jahil <laughs> i love it when a muslim he say jahil he's following a prophet who does not know how to read his name and he called me jahil <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Oh boy. Forget about this, Muhammad. Can you give me? I heard that the Quran have some scientific miracles. I heard the Quran is full of scientific miracle, and this is one of them. <laughs> oh boy! By the way, brother, I eat fruits too, and honey is not coming out. Trust me. <laughs> Last time I ate fruit, I checked it very carefully when I went to the bathroom. No honey, I trust me. I had to open the window for a long time. It wasn't honey for sure. <laughs> what a stupid nation. Muhammad, I like you. Can you give us a scientific, uh, something scientific in the Quran? You see, I was going to go, but I, I like you, man. I mean, you are, you are a blessing from Allah for us. You are Jibreel. You are like light. Can you tell us some scientific miracle in the Quran so we can go and check it out? Additional to the bees eating fruit and poopoo honey, do you have something like something special for us? So maybe some Christians will convert to Islam now? Only Allah knows how many Christians will convert to Islam after. This is a scientific miracle. Uh, by the way, it says here, as long as you are talking about scientific miracle, if you go and read the verses before, it says that according to Islam, according to the Quran, being a drunk is a miracle for Allah. What do you think about this miracle? Brother and sister, I, when I get drunk, brother, I you know uh, I'm the, the miracle. Quran says the female spider spins the whip. I don't know that about that. Can you show me where it says that? Guys, the female spider spins the whip. What does that mean, spins the whip? Uh, she is the one who make, uh, uh, okay, where it says that? Where it says that? Give us the verse, guys. The Quran says the female spider spins the whip. Hmm. You are the one who asked for that. You wrote that yourself. What chapter of my friends? To be sure that you are not quoting the wrong one. Where in the Quran it says female spider make the web? Is that in this chapter? Chapter 29, verse number 41? Muhammad? Just confirm, please, so we can laugh. Muhammad, are you there? Is that the verse? Took Muhammad two hours to find the verse. I have it from an hour ago, my friend. <laughs> okay, where it says the word female spider in the in the verse? Can you show it to me? You know what? If you can show me the word female spider in the Quran, I will shave my 25 beard, 25 meter beard. It's grow because I was eating a fruit and doing poopoo -poo honey. Can you show me where in the verse? The word female spider. Hello? Where in the verse, here we go, I will show it to you in Arabic too. Where in the verse it says this is female spider? The word ankabut, we use it for all kind of spiders, regardless if they are male or female. This is not a female. So where do you get this story from? The same, you know, uh, insect in the Arabic, he and Kabut refer to a female spider because he suffix is a female. What is suffix? What is that? It says an Kabut. We say an Kabut to any spider we see in Arabic. Where is suffix? What does that mean? Where is the suffix? Hello, and we can go to the dictionary right now. I mean, they are so desperate and stupid to prove something. But look what happened now. According to science, actually, that 
the whip of the spider is one of the most strong material ever to the point you can make from it bullet proof vest and will be the best اتخذت or اتخذت we say it to uh, okay you know what I, I will do what you just said I, I will take the word اتخذت and everybody will laugh at you here we go I will take the word اتخذت look what I will do look 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 this is the word اتخذت I will post it here hmm? let us see what we will find Uh, let's see. <clears throat> see, anyone who speaks Arabic, he knew that because you mentioned the word Ankabut, you, you have to add the word Ittakhadat for the Arab group. It's not only one, uh, one, one, uh... let us see. Hmm. And then now we see only Ittakhadu. I'm trying to remember which where the word Ittakhadat appear again. Ah. You see, here it says, وَيَوْمَ يُعْطَى الظَّالِمْ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُلْ وَيَا لَيْتَنِ اتَّخَذْتُ so اتخذت, اتخذت, this is about following about following the one we are talking about whoever he is uh, if it's a person one individual we say اتخذ. if they are a group we say اتخذ. if we are uh, uh, this is just a pure Arabic nowhere it says that this is a female uh, لِإِنْ اتَّخَذْتَ إِلَهًا غَيْرِي Do you see it? Translation, if I took a God beside me, or different God, if I took. And you know, just to, just to prove my point that you Muslims, you fabricate things. If that really exists in the verse, then the verse translation should say the same statement that she took, correct guys? Just to make it simple, why the translation doesn't say, say as long as it says this is a female? So why the translation doesn't say the spider she took? Can you explain? Are you there? As long as it says this is a spider, she is a female. I can change the translation for you. Which translation agree with you that this is a female? spider remember all translation is made by you muslims correct not by me so this is a translation of who hilari and khan okay we will change it which one you want name the one you want because if none of them saying what you are saying that's mean you're lying what do you mean not necessarily in english okay hold on what about we go to the islamic interpretation any interpretation says this is about a female Spider in Arabic. Forget about the English. Have you are you aware of any Islamic interpretation? Say this is a female spider. The Arabic say so. Can you show me one? If you cannot, that's mean obviously it's not there. And the reason it says it you see okay, you know. Uh, when he speak about uh, uh, the group of people, he says ittakhadu. For this is an insect, we say ittakhadat. As simple as that. Like in English, we say it. Uh, it's a it's a simple Arabic. When you speak about dogs, you say ittakhadat. When you speak about a human, you say ittakhadu. So you are an ignorant, and you are trying to make something is not exist. I will take the word as it is, 
and I will try to find something for you from the hadith, just for the sake of fun. Hmm. Here we go. This is the word ittakhadat. About who? Actually, this uh, this uh, this uh, this verse here is one of uh, this hadith is one of the most funny stuff. Uh, I need a doctor tomorrow. <laughs> Ibn Abbas he divorced his wife. The guy he came to his wife. He said, "I divorced my wife one hundred times, ninety-nine times, ninety-seven times." Okay, this is the word ittakhadat. Okay. The Prophet of Allah, Omar, he said to him, "Why you don't take the the, the place of a prayer, a place of a of a, a station of a prayer?" This is the word ittakhadat. Do you see it? And coming is exactly with the tashkil. Does that mean Muhammad is a female? If we look between what is the different, it will say to me that the tashkil is different. Here is a takhadat, and there there is a sukun, right? It takhad. But still, that one because it's about insect. This one is about a human. Go to the website. Okay, my friend. Let us make it simple. Can you give me the website it's you are talking about? What what the name of the website? Okay, hold on, I'm going to open it. Just give me a second. I want you to promise me you will accept anything in that website. Is that fair, guys? Do you accept that website? Whatever the website is. I'm trying to find it. So like it's uh, Quran, Quran Miracle. So you are copying Quran miracle. They are fooling you and you copy whatever they say to you. Okay. I want you to promise me this is Quran miracle. To accept anything in this website to be true. Do you agree? Say yes. Say yes. Do you agree with it? You asked me to go here for what reason? Is that because you trust it or because you don't trust it? Which of those is true? Paper money in the Quran? Now, let us see the paper money. I see here it says paper money in the Quran. Is that true? Okay. Let's look at this article just for a laugh. The Quran says, uh, look at the introduction. Paper money was first time used in China in the 11th century. Okay, and then they say to you that the Quran mentioned paper money. Where? Where it mentioned the paper money? Chapter 18, verse number 19. It says waraq. Just to show you the lies and the liars. Waraq does not mean paper, you liars. It is the opposite. It is silver. Let me show you. Just how everybody will laugh at, at, at those who lies and make fabrication. It means coins, silver, coins. So who is the liar? Chapter 19, 18, verse number 19. Let us see where the paper is. This is your translation, right? Is, it, is that your translation? Does it say here coins? Does it say, guys, there, silver coins? People, do you see it? So, in the Muslim article, the word waraqakum became paper. When in fact, it's speaking about silver coins. 
how this miracle happened because you are a fraud you see i asked you do, you do you accept this website you said yes okay the one who translate this is he a christian or a muslim let's me let us see the name of the translator hilali and khan muhammad hilali and muhammad khan no my friend paper are not coins stop it stop being stupid guys since when look at this look look at look at those lies papers uh, 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 both papers money or coins can be uh, translated like this it says silver you idiot are you blind if it is paper why it says silver do you see it says silver coin The second you say coin, it's a coin. It's not a paper no more. In the top of that, it says warak. Warak is a silver, silver coin. Forget about this one. Eh, maybe this one was a mistake, brother. Choose a different one. Brother, I will give you the honor to choose one. Choose a different one. It says both paper. Where you Show me where it says both paper, where it says that. Okay, in the front of everybody, if I open the interpretation, do you accept? Muhammad, Muhammad K, challenge to you. Do you accept the interpretation of your scholars? Say yes. Whatever the, your scholar says, we can go there. Whatever they say, I will accept. Do you agree? I can go right now and we will see it's silver coins. Any scholar you name, you name him. Done. Just get out. Just get out, stupid idiot. Ya jahil. Ya jahil. You are calling me jahil, you donkey son of muta. Get lost. Even your stupid English translation got you busted. And we can go right now to Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Jalalain, whatever you want. Let us do that. You see, I lost my patience with you because you are really, and the funny he keeps insulting me says, Jahil, Jahil. You follow a prophet, you do not even know how to write his name. If I put the two words, donkey and Muhammad, in the front of Muhammad, say, Muhammad, which one is you? Which one is your name? We will not know. And yet you call me Jahil. When the Quran call us people of the book, and the Quran call you Ummiyin, which means you are the Jahil, the Quran call you Ummiyin. Who call you that? The Quran. What the Quran call me? People of the book, not Jahil. Let me spank you, the same as we spank you about the verses before. Hmm? What your Quran said? Well, Ummiyin. Who is the Ummiyin? You. You are Jahil. Let's read together. And here you need to ask yourself, what kind of a stupid prophet he called the Christians, people of the book, and he called you ignorant, ummiyin. Hold on, this stupid search engine is very stupid. <clears throat> Read with me and laugh at the stupidity of your God. This is your book. Chapter 3, verse number 20. If they dispute with you, Muhammad, you say to them, I surrender, not submitted. And those who follow me, and say to those who they are giving the scriptures between two brackets, the Jews and the Christians, and those who they are illiterate. Between two brackets, he says, the Arab pagan. That's a lie. The illiterate is the Muslims too. All the Arab are illiterate. And whoever Christian and Jew is called the people of the book. How we can confirm that? Change the translation, you will see. But I have an easier way to do that. Let us go. Chapter 
chapter 2 verse number 78 is going to give us definition what people of the book mean and what the bob what the, what the word ummi mean and there are among them people who do not know the book and he between two bracket the jews that's false doesn't say the word jews that's why he is added to it two bracket that's a false those and among them there's people who do not know the book so the illiterate is the one who do not know the book and we are called the people of the book right they know little that's why they are illiterate different verse chapter 3 verse number 20 we showed you this already actually change the translator you will see how, see how the translation in a miraculous way changed all the addition is gone if they argue with you Muhammad say I surrender as I told you not submit surrender to Allah for Islam means surrender not mean submit and those who follow me and say to those who receive the scriptures not some of the Jews and those who read not false translation it says ummiyin and the fact the word ummiyin not it's not about do not know how to read because not every Christian at that time know how to read anyway but yet they call them people of the book so the ummiyin is about the ignorant about God and Muhammad was ummi he was ignorant about God how we can prove that we go to different verse in the Quran <clears throat> Watch, watch and laugh. Uh, this search engine is stupid. <laughs> How much Muhammad he knew about God? You know, the Muslim they uh, confirmed to us uh, that Muhammad he became a prophet at the age of forty. All right. Okay. So, what he was doing all those years before he became a prophet, what he used to believe in. Any Muslim can tell us. What he was believing in. I don't see any Muslim telling me what he was believing in. Anyone? Yeah, exactly. Ummi. Uh, you know, this is this this is a word that's coming from the Hebrew actually. That those who they are Gomai, those are the one who they are not Jews, they call them the foreigners, the outsider, the ignorant. Right? Muslims, what Muhammad was believing before what he was worshipping before he became a prophet, as he claimed. Any Muslim? <clears throat> Many Muslims, they say to you that Muhammad was a prophet in the age of 40, and he was before that worshipping Allah. Is that true, Muslims? So what the Quran says about Muhammad? Isn't it the Quran says that you have no knowledge of God and you don't know what is faith? Who want to prove me to be a liar? Anyone? <clears throat> As usual.
Any Muslim? Does the Quran say that Muhammad do not know what faith and what is God? Yes or no? Before we show the verses. Where is the Muslims? What happened? What was Muhammad worshipping according to the Quran? You see, don't tell me hadith, don't tell me anything. I'm showing I'm going to show you Quran. Any Muslim can tell us? Is it true? The Quran says that Muhammad do not know what God and what is the book and what is faith? Is that true? Yes or no? All the prophets were Jews. Why follow non-Jews? Well, this is not an excuse about follow Jews or not. But... Uh, you see, I believe that God, he sent warners for all mankind, starting from the time of Abraham. Abraham, he is the father of the Jew, but he is not a Jew, right? And Abraham, he warned the people who he is born between them, the Aramaic people in Iraq. And all this, let us say, those who speak Aramaic. And uh, they reject him, they refuse him, he left them. So God, he, he sent his warners to other than the Jews. But what happened is, the only one who accepted God, it was the Jews. The rest, they went with his own cult and their own practice. So, any Muslim? Who, any Muslim agree that Muhammad never knew God before he became a prophet? He was a kafir. Maybe tomorrow we should make a we should make the title of our video about it. What do you think, guys? Shall we? If like today we are out of customers. Any Mohammedan? And today in our video actually we have too much buffering in the beginning. See when people they start going to sleep, the internet get better. Okay, tomorrow we'll make a topic about the same thing, and we will show you from the Quran, as long as there's nobody here to challenge us, that Muhammad do not know God, and the Quran confirmed that Muhammad was a kafir, Muhammad was a pagan, never know God, and by the confirmation of the Quran. So, when the Muslims they say to us, Muhammad, before he became a prophet, he was Abrahamic, it's a big fat lie, for this is against the Quran teaching. Now, tomorrow, we will be in tomorrow in the morning. God is willing to give us a chance to be with you tomorrow. If we stay alive, uh, we will be in the quality of life. And this is the video. Let me give you the link. So if you like to join us, be with us tomorrow. There is 10 hours left. Yeah, I will make a title about it. All right? I will make a special video about it. Mehdi, Mehdi, last call before we go. Any Muslim? Do a live stream of refutation of Zakir Naik vs. Campbell debate because tomorrow we have fun. Uh, you know, Zakir Naik, we always make fun of him. I mean, this guy is an idiot.
You see, I don't care really about um, uh, Muslims debating etc. person. Uh, sometime I get involved in debate, like what happened between Mimi Hijab and David Wood. The reason I got involved, because people, they thought that David Wood, he did a very bad job for Mimi Hijab was doing mockery. You know? Otherwise, I always, I get them busted anyway. But just to show them that this guy who is making mockery of David Wood is a stupid idiot. For many, they are naive. Oh, what they saw, they saw somebody is laughing and the other one is not laughing. So they thought, oh, the one is laughing, obviously he win. The fact they were laughing to cover their shame and to lie. <laughs> the guy, he asked him, oh, you Muslim, you collect the spit of your prophet and you wipe it with your face. You, are, you know, you, 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 you speak of him higher than God. The answer is, Oh, so if I spit, I am God now? But this is not the question. The question why you are collecting the spit and the poopoo and the piss of your prophet and you drink it and you wipe your face with it if he is just a man. So they try to make a mockery of a Christian person and there's many Christians, they are naive, sadly. So what they see, that the Christian was not making fun of the other guy and the other group, the Muslim, they were laughing Whatever he say in stage, the Muslim they love the majority. This is Islamic center. This is a this is a Muslim place. It's hosted by Muslims. Few Christian there. So whatever say Mimi, they love. Ha, 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 ha. So people they have they have the impression that they are winning and the other guy was losing. That's why I get involved to get him busted. Right. Otherwise, really, I don't care about people doing debates. I care about getting busted. The liars uh, and Zachary Naik is my best joke. All, all I mean, isn't it enough what I do to Zachary Naik? Do I need to make videos of him? All right. Where was Allah before the seventh century? No, Allah is exist before the seventh century. Allah is a fake god. Moon god is exist. You are mistaken, my friend. Allah is a word used by many people who worship the moon god. The same god Allah is the same one. It like it depends on the location. They have different name for the same god. The people of Europe they used to worship the god, the sun god. Why? Because it's it's cold. Those who live in the desert they love the moon god. For the moon god is nice, bring them light in the darkness of the desert. It's not harsh, it's not killing their animals, it's not drying their water, it's not uh, destroying their grass. So the moon god is a god beloved by the Bedouin, people of the desert. And the sun god was beloved by those who live in cold area. Both are very well known. The sun and the moon as god to worship. All right. So Allah, yes, even even the Muslim agree that the Arab pagans before Islam they worship Allah. So okay, how they are pagan but they worship Allah? They say to you because they are associating God or gods with Allah. But then you see that Muhammad, he sent uh, one of his men and he is from his family. His name is Khalid bin Walid. He sent him to kill the daughter of Allah, and he killed her. Okay, how you say you don't believe that Allah have daughters and then you kill his daughter? You know what I mean? The story is very well known. Muhammad, he sent Khalid, he tell him go and kill the daughter of Allah. He go there, he found trees, he cut the trees. He tell him, he came back, he says, you did not finish your job, go back again, etc. The story is very well known by Muslims. And then when he goes uh, after that, he find a woman who have a crazy hair, screaming and shouting, and then he killed her. And this is the daughter of Allah. So how Muslims don't believe Allah have daughters, then they believe that Muhammad killed the daughter of Allah. We you know we can talk about this story maybe later, 
I'm losing my voice it's getting late here uh, again tomorrow we will be in the quality of life join us uh, if you like to have a good time there we don't speak about Islam we answer many things but not Islam and nothing about Islam actually I don't know if I should keep this video because we have too many buffering in the broadcast I don't know you can download it but but you have to do anything because it was a lot of buffering uh, we can redo it again talk about uh, Paul again anyway I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and don't forget if you like to join us uh, to be notified you can subscribe to my page in Patreon uh, many people they ask me if you join Patreon do you have to make a donation no you don't have to uh, first of all our service is for free it doesn't matter really if you make donation or not but this is a page it's like Facebook you will be notified immediately to your email if I'm going to go live I pause there you'll receive email notification and uh, donate donation or not this is an option it's up to you uh, but you will be notified for sure all right you just make an account subscribe to my page and that's it nobody is asking you to do any donation and for sure we appreciate those who support us but just to to make it sure that people think that those website is made for those who donate my friend all my work is for free i serve the poor before the rich i appreciate those who support me by their donation but they are not different from you the lord he blessed those who they are poor and we are here to serve all and the poor before the rich we don't differentiate between anyone if someone says something wrong in the chat and he was donating to me everybody knows i will be all over him i don't care who donate who don't you say wrong you do wrong i'm against you you're good i'm with you you're poor you're rich none of my business all right so everybody is welcome to subscribe in that page and uh, I will be happy that you receive notification about our podcast when we go live on air. All right. Uh, I, you know the, the problem. I don't read in the Indonesian language. All right. Yeah. Some. I, I need. I need to learn Indonesian language. You know. But by the way, I used to speak Indonesian before. But what happened when Jibril squeezed me? He squeezed too much. So look what happened. I used to speak Indonesian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish, French. I mean, you name it, all languages. But when Jibril, he squeezed me, because he, you know, Allah, he wanted me to be a prophet. But he broke the, the chip where I save all languages. I lost all languages. And then since then, we cannot fix it. We went to Suzuki, manufacturer, Toyota, Toyota. Uh, when the Japanese, Japanese, you know, Jibril, Japanese, by your by your I mean, Jibril, Japanese, because it's very good in technology, you know, you can, you can tell, you know. So we, we tried to fix it and nothing happened, you know. And then I end with one language, like Muhammad. Here we go. And even the Muslim, they say his Arabic is funny. Yeah. Right? And in, my English is funny. So my Arabic is funny, my English is funny. I don't know. I don't know what is not funny. About. <laughs> what is this? What is the language of this guy? Nobody knows. You know, Christian Prince, read for us the verse. Read for us the verse. Show us if you know how to read the Quran. I mean, it's supposed to be the Arabic. They show us if you can read the Quran. And who is the judge? They, the they who the one who hate Christian Prince to death. They will be the one who judge if I if I if I know how to read Arabic or not. <laughs> Read, read the Quran, read the Quran, read the Quran for us. And then I said to the donkey, I said, you idiot, your prophet do not know even how to read his name. So what does that mean? <laughs> anyway, the Chinese, they said, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Looked like the Chinese, they knew what they are talking about. Yes, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. That is Islam. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you tomorrow, God is good. 
God is great and may the Lord protect you, keep you safe, healthy, in good wealth and health. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you soon. God is willing. Take care.